Hey everybody, this is the GRS, and we're going to be doing a little bit of sea battles in Assassin's Creed. I figured I'd explore it a little bit, and we'll get to know it a little. Um, in one of my first videos, actually, I did probably my first sea battle, and so we're going to be checking out how it goes sort of from the beginning and on, and uh, just exploring a little bit of the game mechanics and seeing uh, what we like about it and uh, possibly what we don't like about it, I suppose. Um... There's a couple of uh, oh, there's a couple of different ones. I'm not too sure about the uh, entire system yet, but um, what I've seen is that the more missions you do, the less risk you have in like subsequent missions. So I suppose if we do this mission, we'll get 25% less uh, risk, and then we go on to the next mission, we had 25% less on, after that, and I'm sure there's even more as the game goes on. But I've you know I've only gotten so far into uh, into the game, so we'll, we'll try one out. Kind of go through the mechanics, I guess, uh, see what I like and what maybe what I don't like about it. Um, I like that it's simplistic, first of all, though, and I'll show you that in a moment. And something I discussed in the last video is that I do like how um, I enjoy that this is like your your 18th century uh, war battles or naval ship battles, and you just don't see that anywhere. I don't, I don't think I've ever played a game that actually quite uh, captured how awesome these uh, these battles really are, and they they're they're actually pretty cool in my opinion. Um, now, first of all, the one thing I really like is the wind directional system. If you look at the bottom left corner of the map, you'll see that there's a You'll see that there's a wind indicator, and uh, so it'll always be there. You can always tell where the wind's going to be. Uh, controls are pretty simple, by the way, as far as, like, I, I just need to tilt my control over to the left to uh, steer to the left. No, I had it in half sail, which kind of, you know, takes me, gives me a little bit of uh, speed. But if I go to, I can only go to full stop, half sail, and full sail, so it's kind of... You know, I'm pretty sure this is what it would be like uh, on the real, you know, real seas trying to uh, navigate oh, that with. Didn't sound good. Trying to navigate with uh, sails, but I think we might have hit a rock or something. That's probably probably wasn't that great. Wait for it. Just trying to get a little sense of what I can do here. So it looks like we're actually we chasing this speed. ship here. That means I'm probably gonna have to go to full sail to actually go into full chase. Um, these guys are lining up against me, and that's probably not so good. Although they'll tell you when they're about to uh, fire at your ship. Now, trying to go around the uh, the bend here is a little difficult when you're in full sail, and I feel like that's uh, I'm definitely seeing that right now. So I'm trying to avoid the next uh, rock uh, outcropping here. We can probably let me just make sure we're supposed to actually take this thing out. Um, chase and engage the St. James. Okay, so we probably need to engage it. We need to limit the environmental damage, so I guess that means running into rocks and stuff. We're still at full sail, and getting getting a Watch lot of... Oh my god, gosh. Getting a lot of... Uh, oh man. <laughs> so I'm ducking. Okay, so let's do a full broadside against this ship here. We really want to get this guy right here. Oh, and one guy went right into our crosshairs. It's a fairly simplistic system, though. Um, there's a right trigger for your full broadsides. I'm going to go half sail, by the way, so I can turn around. Um, and then there's a uh, left trigger for a uh, just like a sniper shot. If you hold down the right trigger for a moment, you'll get a much more accurate broadside as uh, people kind of line up their guns. And uh, generally with the uh, sniper shots, they don't do as much uh, damage, but it's probably the way to go if you're just trying to take out these little uh, these little schooners over here. I don't actually know what the uh, proper name is for these guys. Put a full stop and then I'll try and turn around here for a moment. We'll try, just try and line up. This guy. There we go. All right, let's go into full sail. Try to get the heck out of here. Now we've got a really good lineup. Uh, we were able to take out pretty much everybody in that line. 
That's what's cool is, you know, I know there's, uh, we're probably taking a little bit of damage here going to half sail so I can turn around a little better. Um, but if you play the, your cards right, if you strategize a little bit with your, uh, you know, ha lining up the uh, ships really well, uh, you'll probably find that you can get a lot more than just one ship at a time. Our cannon, our broadside isn't ready. Here it is. The bottom right, there's an indicator for when your broadsides are ready. Uh, we missed it. Let's see if we can snipe them. Give me the damage report. Oh boy. If you if you see a broadside coming in, um, hit X as soon as possible. Then I'll have your crew actually. Uh, they'll have your crew duck down. You don't have to worry about them as much. I'll be able to get both of these guys. There we go. All right, we're good. I'm gonna go to stop and then try and turn. I should be able to get this guy in my crosshairs. Full sail, get the heck out of here. We're gonna get we're gonna get boarded here. Whoa, that was close. Okay. Oh boy. Half sail, we're gonna try and get the heck out. Get our heads down. So out of these really easy controls, um, you know, you can see we have quite a bit of gameplay that we can get just out of that, and I really like the uh, the idea of that. They are not even close to aiming at us. Get in, get down. Okay, we got a direct hit, but did they? Everybody down, everybody down. Whoa! It mitigates damage. It doesn't doesn't prevent it though. Whoa, that was close. Okay, we're just waiting on the our full broadside here. There we go, got him. Not as uh, much. I would have liked it in less time, and I was just about to hit these rocks here. That guy was uh, he was pretty hard to get through though. And I like that just through through the use of um, basically two different mechanics for firing, and then obviously the moving mechanic is uh, is something that you get used to if you've never uh, you know steered a or sailed a boat before, I guess. Um, I actually oh, one thing I like is that I used to uh, do sailing when I um, when I was really little, probably like uh, I don't know, like seven or eight years old. Um, I think I was about that old. And uh, so I remember a lot of the mechanics of it, although not a lot of that translates to this game, of course. But it's just kind of like, it's got a little bit of that reliving that experience uh, aspect to it. So let's go with this other one that we have here. Also really appreciate the... Um, the outfits that you wear in this game. <laughs> uh, so this one, uh, Connor's got sort of a modified assassin's, uh, you know, jacket sort of thing, which I think is really neat looking. But uh, then when you jump on the ship, that you actually wear a full-on captain's outfit. Look at this thing. It's awesome. It really is cool looking. All right, so let's go to full stop. Not, not full stop. Full sail. Monitoring the uh, the wind is uh, I don't I don't think it's like super important, but um, it is necessary when you if you really want to get a good run on uh, on some of these ships. I feel like I always forget to check what the objective is. By the way, so we need to investigate around the lighthouse. Okay, let's go to half sail. We can turn in. One of your biggest enemies is obviously going to be these rocks here, so just make sure you're watching out for that. Sand barges. Sand barges you can see on your, uh, on the, uh, the little compass at the bottom. These are pretty cinematic, too. Even when you're just playing, it feels very cinematic. Where did everybody come from? Oh my gosh. It's a whole fleet of ships here. We got one down. Whoa, missed. Whoa. Nicely done. Let's 
So something you may not know um, about sailing, uh, and this is actually where a little bit of personal experience is, uh, comes in for me, is that you don't have to be directly behind the wind at any particular time. Get down. Um, if you're... If you have... Uh, you can go pretty much up to... A little bit beyond... Um, I think the right, the right word is. Uh, let's go to half sail. Give me half sail. Get down, everybody. Uh, per per uh, not perpendicular. Uh, yeah, perpendicular. <laughs> so you can go up to about just a little bit more than perpendicular, about like 70% or so of perpendicular. And uh, at that point, a little bit beyond that and the wind actually will go against your sails and so what you want to do then is what I'm doing right here and then just actually turn around and keep turning ooh that wasn't so good now you can see you leave yourself open pretty well but um, come on come on need that cannon here we go oh my gosh I need to get my guys down for that one we're still able to take everybody out though Oh my gosh, that's like grape shot that they're firing at me. There's just so much coming in. And we're we're skimming in. We're not quite perpendicular anymore. There we go, we got them off. Oh, destroy ships by ramming them. See, I need to pay attention to the uh pay attention to the stuff. Now this game probably lets you do a little bit more than uh than that perpendicular rule that I'm talking about, but that's gonna get you the most speed. When you're going against, uh, when you're trying to go against uh, ships, so so basically, about perpendicular is the rule. Uh, your ship to the wind, you should be able to get quite a bit of, uh, you should be able to get quite a bit of wind from that. Um, but once you start to get pretty close to the headwind, then it's going to work against you, probably to the point where your ship's not going to work anymore. Now I haven't really tested that a lot in this game. Um, but I, I feel like that's it. Probably fo follows about that rule. If you guys have ever played, um, you guys have ever played a little bit of uh, Sid Meier Pirates, the, uh, the mechanics in that game uh, pretty much run the same uh, gambit. So let's see. Uh, we'll try out these troubled waters. Looks like it's opened up a few more missions to me now. So the, these battles are intense, but there's almost something like uh, like relaxing to them. That's something I really enjoy. It's so rainy out. I won't be able to see anything. Oh my gosh! What are we, what, are we supposed to plow right into this? Take cover! Well, that was interesting. Now we're going down the wave. I was not prepared for this. Alright, limit, limit that damage taken. We've got at least one ship up ahead. And we got a couple over to the right. Now if I take the wind, I should be able to get to this first ship pretty easily. Let's go full sail, even though that's kind of uh, dangerous in this storm. Take it to half sail. I'm gonna get our broadsides ready to go. We'll nip them off just a little bit. The advantage of being in uh, half sail here is I can easily get back in. I feel like I didn't get much of a chance to aim on that one. Full sail just to pull ahead of them a little bit. Oh, I think we were able to pull around just in time. Uh, we're going to have to go to the left. So I'm heading too much into the headwind, so I'm just going to have to turn left at this point to try and get out of the way. All right. Yeah, it should line us up pretty well, though. Let fly. We get a couple of... Looks like we went into another... Uh, to another wave there. 
Oh, I was about to do a broad sail and then he kind of went ahead of us. Uh oh, he's firing a broadside directly on my aft here, that wasn't too good. Full sail, let's go. Alright, and that's the end of that. But I got two chasing me, and right now they won't be able to get me because, uh, this is sort of a, so this comes from a lot of reading uh, Master and Commander books, but, which I highly recommend, by the way, but this is, a uh, basically this is a ship of the line, so we're in sort of a straight line right now, and if I break that line, I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to hit these guys with my broadside really, really well. Same with them, though. See, being in the line lets me stay ahead of them pretty much uh, full time, but breaking the line lets me actually shoot, and so that's where the uh, the risk comes in. That's sort of, it's not a very good explanation, I realize, but... Back in the day, though, they called these uh, ship, ship of the lines, and that's sort of the reason why. Watch out for this, another wave coming in. Whoa. Alright, let's, uh, we're back into a lot full line here, and these guys are still chasing me. I'm gonna break off onto this, uh, onto the right side, though, and we'll see if we can catch this other guy off guard. I think we went into full stop there for a moment. Oh boy. Get down. Not sure what that's supposed to mean. Area not available. Let's get back into full sail and we should be able to catch back up to these guys. I think these areas. I think uh, the game probably has an actual limit to where you can go. Is a little disappointing to me. That was poorly timed, so I was uh, ready to do my broadside, but get down. Got to put a little pressure on these guys. We're almost to the point where uh, we're full headwind, <laughs> so I got to watch out. Too many going into the water, so they're not really, uh... Th those cannonballs do not pass through the water very well. Oh, shoot. So press that button. Alright. We're gonna go full headwind if we don't turn here. Going half sail, and then we're gonna try and do the full turn around here. This guy's right. Uh-oh, we're gonna run right into his broadside. Nicely done there. You're not gonna be able to get your front though. Yep, fully took him down. Alright, let's go full sail and see if we can't catch up to this guy back here. We can go quite a bit, quite a bit more ways into that, that headwind. Oh, I caught you off guard, man. Somebody said I got a direct hit, but I didn't really see that. I'm gonna go half sail, go into this headwind, and we'll see if we can turn around. I would be surprised if that got anything. This is just a crazy battle right now. Oh, we got that freaking wind you gotta work, or that wave you gotta worry about. Oh my gosh, that was not good. Okay, well now we're down to 50% health, I think. We're basically staying in his, uh, his broadside, so I don't think we can keep doing that forever. We just keep circling each other. I'm gonna have to break off on this. That wind's slowing us down! A new path! Turning this ship uh, to the other direction, see if we can catch him on a on a broadside. Of 
We're at full sail. That's because I'm just trying to let this guy catch up to me a little bit. Alright, now I got my broadside ready. Come on in. One more. One more should do it. Oh, we got right out of it. Oh, come on. It's so hard to turn. I'm about to go in the headwind. Oh, this isn't good. You're gonna ram me. Full sail. Come on, let's get the heck out of here. I still got my cannons ready, so I'm just gonna fire them. He's gonna break line. Alright, half sail. I'm gonna break line and get this guy. Ah, he got me again. He's barely able to get in there. Surprisingly, didn't hit me though. Full sail. Oh, not good. Okay, we. I think we got him. Dang, it took so long, man. He was pretty smart with this, I have to admit. There's a very uh, subtle uh, nuance to ship combat like this, and and, and I think the breaking the line part is uh, is pretty key to it. And they, I liked how they set up that battle because it was totally about like uh, you know line battles. Now I can't um, honestly. I'm trying to speak from a, what I know from reading like uh, the uh, Patrick O'Brien books, but. Uh, other than that, I probably can't speak to too much experience or uh, or real um, expertise on that subject. So, uh, you know, it is what it is, I suppose. I'd like to do one more mission here. Weather systems are used to just such great effect. I can't, I actually am pretty impressed with how they did that. Now what I'd like to see more from, I, I mean, this is definitely a little tacked on um, compared to like the wider game, and it's almost, it almost has this sense of like, why did they do this in the first place? And that's probably like the main complaint I have about sea battles in this game, but other than that, um, you know, I like that they, they went with it, I like that they took the risk, and it seems like they kind of went full on with it. Maybe I'll take out that first guy. No? Okay. We've got a full sail. We can go get into range. One down. A little sniper gun's good for these tiny little boats. I'm gonna pull into the wind and we'll see if we can get some more speed. Snipe down another one. I really want to get a broadside on these guys, though. Another one down. Come on, recharge, recharge. Oh, we're gonna go straight into that rock. Half sail. Look, we're gonna be to hit a uh, barge here. Full stop, let's turn around. Okay, maybe we'll snipe him out. Oh man, we got that rock right there. Sail, come on, let's get out of here. Still got some wind. Boom. Okay, so there's a ham ambush point we gotta hide at. Let's change course, sir. We're in a headwind. I mean, if I was to guess, I'd probably say that we were supposed to uh, do that a little bit cleaner, but, you know. First time for everything, I suppose. Full sail! Unfurl everything! Full sail! I mean, this could use a lot more degrees of complexity. There's a lot going on here on the ship, so it's almost, it's almost a little bit surprising that they were able to uh, put it into s such a simple, Careful, simplistic Captain. mechanic, and I mean, I enjoy that for what it's worth. 
there's a ship in front of me. Can't really see what's going on. Just a lot of rocks. I enjoy that mechanic, but I could use for a... Um, if they took this part of the game and just made it like its own separate game, I would totally be all over that. Let's see if I can snipe out some of these guys. I feel like this sniper thing is almost for like just people that like Call of Duty games or something. Oh, great shot. They, they say damage report, I don't know if they actually give you anything. I think that's pretty cool, but I don't know if you really get much use out of it. I'm about to go straight into this headwind, by the way. Oh my gosh, broadside. That was cool. <laughs> I haven't had a full broadside to broadside in a while. Ah, that broad grape shot is painful. Oh, we're getting damaged badly. Broadside, I can get these guys. It's ready to fire. Get them. Oh, man. Alright, there's. There's definitely. Oh, man, that just took me out. Or almost did, at least. Yep, yep, that just took me out. I wasn't paying enough attention to, uh, to the actual health of, that was going on with the ship. I could probably use a little better of a, uh, you know, when I call out damage report, I could probably use a freaking damage report. But, uh, you know, it's a zone, I guess. Oh, we're still at this part, so I, I think we could do this over again. We can definitely get this guys. We need to go for these little tiny ships first. They're definitely doing a lot of damage. Another one down. Broadside, come on. You got it. Nice. Ah, I missed on it. Reload that sniper shot. Boom. <laughs> Sink you bastards. Oh, you're coming right into my trap, buddy. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, get down, everybody. I thought that was going to be a little crazy right there. Come on, we need to sink some of these smaller ones. They do actually have a pretty good little indicator right there for um, your headwind. So if you have, like, a yellow indicator, that means that... Great shot, that's nice. Um, the yellow means that you're getting close to where you can't uh, shoot anymore. Thankfully, I'm still in full sail. Yeah, the range of these guys. If you're paying attention to that, though, you can get a lot more out of speed. Full sail, let's get up. Give me the mark! Ready up to fire! Done. Alright, now we need to get this guy. Half sail. Break the line. Alright, we're going to have to turn around on this. This breaks the line, so this lets me get away from him. Get away from his shot. He doesn't even have a chance to hit me on that. And then at the same time, I can actually line up on my shot. Now, by him facing me, though, it gives him a much lesser profile. 
so I won't be able to get quite as many uh, shots on his uh, on his broadside. This is gonna be broadside to broadside. Oh, got him right before he could do it though. Now it's full, full sail up. Full sail, go get that wind. Upwind a little, little bit. So just enough so that I can still get some of the wind. And move up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a hard left over. And it's going to move those sails Won't over to the other side. In the wind, Captain. Now we've got a lot of speed again. That was a technique that we used in sailing a lot, so there was a... You'd have to switch your... If you wanted to go upwind, you'd have to go from one direction to the other. I'm, I'm using my hands, I know you guys can't see that. But I'd have to go basically from left to right to left to right to move upwind. Uh, thankfully on this one I only have to move a little bit up upwind, and then I was able to move to the left to catch up to the sky. I don't know who this is, by the way. What is this? He's in the fog, so I can't see him. On my mark! Let's see if we can't pick him off. Come on. Pull in to half sail. Pull in to half sail. Pulling in so we can get a better sense of who that is. Oh man, we're not gonna make that. There's a big barge right there. Oh, okay, I just hit the cliff. Might want to avoid things like that in the future. I'm actually surprised they're, they're forgiving enough on that. Oh, we're not going to make that either. Oh, boy. This isn't good. This okay. headwind is slowing us down. We're all over these cliffs right now. Oh, boy. How am I supposed to get over this guy? Alright, I guess i got to pull all the way back over here. I want everything. Unfurl everything. Full sail. Do full sail and it'll go upwind on the uh, Archibaldia there. I don't think that's enough to kill that guy. Ready when you are, sir. Everybody's so polite back in these days. Right, now let's half wind so I can Hold get a little more control sail. over this. Make ready, boys! I think that's enough. This guy needs a nice little tasty broadside. Ready up to fire! And fire! There we go. Ready to fire! That's it for that. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. I uh, I really enjoy these naval battles, even if uh, I'm not getting these nice little optional missions yet. Um, I highly recommend uh, looking into it if you have a copy of Assassin's Creed 3. It's uh, very much an optional part of the game, although there's a few required naval battles, I think, but uh, for the most part, if you want to just partake in the, you know, just optional naval battles, then it's totally optional. <laughs> um, I think it's uh, I think it's probably one of the more uh, underrated parts of this game so far. I've seen some people just kind of clamor that, or you know, complain that it's a tacked-on feature of the game, and I I will admit that it could have a lot more robustness to it, and it does sort of feel like why you know like why did they even bother? Um, but at the same time, they went that distance and they did something, and I I like that they were able to uh, you know make something fun out of it. I still consider it pretty fun, so. Um, thanks for joining me guys and I hope you all have a good one.